think he noticed that Suge was uh, carried me under his wings, kind of like you know that was my sister. So it kind of emulated from him. Him, he seen how Suge really you know was like my big brother. So Pac kind of adopted that and treated wow. me as such. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, and I'm going to ask you this, and, mm-hmm. and then because we got to get to the Tupac, you the you 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 hold the keys to my. I'm a Tupac. You see it on the shirt mm-hmm. right there. I'm a Thug Tupac life, fan. baby. Yeah, I supposed to be interviewing Napoleon, but we're going to set it up another time. But just that whole, just his whole aura. How was he around you? Like, how did you? What was the thing that stuck out to the way that he treated you when you would be around? I think he noticed that Suge was uh, carried me under his wings kind of like you know that was my sister so it kind of emulated from him him he seen how suge really you know was like my big brother so pop kind of adopted that and treated wow. me as such i mean the boys would hang out i remember he came home all of them it, it, it was like they were all thick as thieves and would hang out and you know just have they the, the men time you know to studio moments and Pac respected women. That's the thing. Yeah, for sure. And I think with Pac, as we got in there, he kind of took it personal at some points that I was getting disrespected. Wow. You know, I think because he would always be excited, you know, at Kenya's come up. And I think he kind of, because Shu took it personal at points when he knew I was being disrespected. He took it personal like, Okay, that's like our little sister. Like, you can't do that to her. Y'all can do that to all them, but not her. He How like, are you being disrespected? Give us with he was out there doing. With, I talking with dad. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, I know out exactly there with God knows right. this everything. You know, mm-hmm. this women. You know, and did any of them ever step to dad's and was like, "You got to straighten up"? No, I mean, I'm sure Suge had talks with him, but you know, he, the, their main point was to talk to me. They didn't, okay. you know, Kenya. You know, Sugar would always tell me, beauty is only a temporary position, intelligence is forever. You keep your intelligence. Don't ever fall for the bullshit. He would always give me these pep talks. Yeah. Protecting me and building me up because you can't build him up. He is who he's going to be. Mm-hmm. Build the woman up and get her right mm-hmm. and inspire her and push her. And I always felt uh, respected by Pac. I, always, I, I, I yeah. never felt like I was ever disrespected. I think he appreciated that, you know, I wasn't out there. I wasn't wilding, you know. And did you ever like when Tupac would after he got shot? He was pretty angry when he came back. Of course, shot me five times. Real niggas don't die. All these different things he would say after he had then got over on the west, you know, west coast uh, uh, doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Did you ever uh, did Did you ever see anything that was like? angry toward the East Coast, things that, because it, it was everywhere at the time. Yeah. Boy, it would have affected Daz as well. Yeah. So yeah. He was angry at that point. I mean, he was hurt and angry because in his heart, you know, he felt like the people that he, that he trusted the most had him set up. We don't know what happened, but <laughs> if it's in his heart, we're going to roll what, what's in his heart. Mm-hmm. And he had, you know, he was upset, so we became upset with him. I mean, uh, yeah. he's our family now, so we got to roll with him. You know, and it only, you know, it escalated when they went to New York, you know, but we all still love New York. Like, so yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.